Hi, this is Denise with Shea S. And even though summer is just around the corner, I cannot wait to make a burger. So I'm going to use the indoor kitchen grill and whip up some burgers for us. No one likes burgers without mushrooms. So why not add mushrooms to the meat using the blend approach? It adds extra moisture, flavor, and bonus points for more vitamins and nutrients. For our burger recipe, you will need one pound of mushrooms, and you can use either the brown ones or the white ones. We just prefer using brown. You'll need a pound of ground beef, a half a cup of yellow onion, a half a cup of Swiss cheese that's been shredded, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and three fourths teaspoon of fresh black pepper, as well as some hamburger buns, a little extra cheese, and some lettuce. Using the blend approach is really simple. All you need to do is chop up half of the mushrooms. Then I'm just going to add the chopped up mushrooms to my beef along with the seasonings. And just mix with your hands. For our burger recipe, we're going to add a little extra surprise to the mix. We're going to stuff cheese inside the burger. So you want to form the uh, meat mushroom mixture into four equal sized balls. So next we're going to stuff the patties with the Swiss cheese. To get the cheese inside your hamburger, you just want to make an indention and then stuff it with the cheese. You can use a lot or a little, just depending um, how much flavor you want, added flavor. And then form the meatball into a patty. I like to add a lot of mushrooms to this burger, inside and out. So I'm going to saute some mushrooms with the yellow onion and some olive oil. Now that my mushrooms are nice and golden brown, I'm going to just put them off to the side. My indoor grill has been heating, so I'm just going to lightly brush it with a little olive oil. Okay, I like to let the meat and the mushrooms and the seasonings kind of mingle around because that way the flavors develop more. So I let them sit at least 30 minutes before I put them on the grill. I cook the burgers about four to six minutes on each side for about for medium rare. If you want more cheese, go ahead and add it at this point. We like to keep our finished burger on the simple side as we really want the flavors of the mushrooms to shine. So I just add a little bit of mayo to the bun, a little bit of mustard, that big juicy mushroom burger as well as the extra sauteed mushrooms. You can add lettuce, tomato, pickles, anything else that you like, but you really don't need it because the mushrooms are so flavorful in this burger. And then I add a little lettuce, and there you go. An outrageous mushroom Swiss cheese burger.